What's going on? We back, good fella Sports TV. Just witnessed Jaron Boots Ennis from Philadelphia. Um, I believe they was fighting in Philly tonight, man. I seen Gilly Kid ringside. Shout out to Gilly. Um, and he just destroyed Ramon uh, Serrano, I believe his name was, man. And uh, in two rounds, um, this kid is a switch hitter. Um, man, you know, he threw a long left hook. He kind of unorthodox, too, not just because of the switch hitting. But he threw first knockdown in the first round. I think he threw uh, from the uh, southpaw position, a straight left to the body, and came up top and changed, you know, changed, you know, made old boy get out of position, took his eyes off off the prize, paid attention to the straight left to the body, set him up with a big right hook to the head. Then the second knockdown in the second round, I believe he done something like a, a counter, counter uh, from the orthodox position, counter, pull, counter pull right hand. Um, kind of rolled the uh, punch that uh, Serrano threw, you know, pulled back with the roll, came back, delivered with the right hand over the top, and uh, made the made old boy do the stanky leg, do the stanky leg. And then I think he finished him off, end up referee called a TKO um, off a of right hook, you know what I'm saying? Um, dude is the business, man. Dude is, dude is really, really good. I agree with Steve Farhood, man. Um, it's time for him to step up the competition. They might step up a grade or two um, from this level. He just dominating the competition. He 5'10", switch hitter, long. Um, a lot of power in both hands. Um, definitely got Philly on his back. Um, real, real tough, man. And as, as orthodox as he seemed, he seemed to be pretty technical. And uh, like I said before in a lot of videos this week, man, I said – these welterweights, man, I just dropped the video. These welterweights ain't gonna fight each other till 2021 to try to get a to till they get an undisputed fight. This kid in in a year or two, by 2020, this kid gonna be up there fighting for a title. You know, he's gonna be challenging for a title. You know, some people think Josh Kelly gonna be up there with him. Um that's another conversation for another day. But um it's time for him to step up into the to the top 15 level, in my opinion. Um, Constantine Poormar kind of fell, fell out of the top 15, but that's a fight for him. Um, him and Rashidi Speedy Ellis might be dark, uh, another dark horse in the division. Uh, they might sneak up on some guys, man. I mean, I think he ready to beat on Andre Berto, to be honest. Um, I think that's to be a, a magnificent test for him. A Victor Ortiz, um, Jesse, Jesse Vargas. I think, I think, I think he'll beat Jesse Vargas right now. Uh, that's my personal opinion. I think he beat up on a Thomas Delorme type of opponent. Um, I think he'll beat up on Jose Benavidez, okay? I'm, I might be thinking big, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe more of a, a Jesus uh, Rojas or um, Josito Lopez if he loses to Keith Thurman. But I'm thinking, you know, I think he Devin, I mean, Devin Alexander, Andre Berto, Victor Ortiz, Jesse Vargas, Thomas Delorme type, type of level guy right now. That's as far as I'm willing for this kid to skip up. Um, in competition real, real soon, man. I think those are the type of level fights that he needs to challenge him himself. And uh, Josh Kelly moving up fast, too. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to mess around, let one of these young guys come up there and upset them. But uh, Serrano, you know, he showed, you know, he was tough. Um, Kareem Mayfield took him five or six rounds to stop him. Emmanuel Taylor took him five or six rounds to stop him. Only two other men to stop him. He went the uh, full distance, eight rounds. With Alex Asados, who's fighting later on tonight on ESPN versus Mighty Mo Hooker, Oak Cliff, Dallas, Texas area. Salute. Um, from what I understand, Earl Spencer, Terrence Crawford will be in attendance. But I think Jaron Ennis needs to be on the fast track. He only 21. I know it ain't no time to rush him, but I think he, I think Jesse Vargas, Delorme, Birdo, um, maybe a Zab Judah, I think he's ready for them type of fights. You know, I think he should fight. Three or four times next year, and two or three of them need to be versus some guys like that. You know, you know, Saddam Ali is back in the division. Why not? You know, um, you know, if he come back and do well, uh, Carlos Abreu might be hanging around there. Constantine Poormar, not sure what he's doing, but I think you know the Serrano level type of opponent. He need to get up in the top fifteen. All right, he need to be in that top fifteen. I'm telling you, he's going to take either Sean Porter belt, he's going to take even Keith Thurman belt, 
He going to take one of them dudes' belt, man. I'm t- trying to tell you. They stagnant. They fight once and twice a year. Watch it once a year, twice a year if we lucky. He going to fuck around and move up and tag some of the dudes. He is Philly. He, he is going to embody Philadelphia one day. He continue to keep focused, stay on the right track, stay level-headed. He going to be Philly one day. You know, he gave me hope for Philadelphia fighters, man. When Danny Garcia right now turned to Hollywood and, and you know, Brian Jennings pretty much got Philadelphia box on his back, now uh, Bernard Hopkins gone. You look at a prospect like this guy, it make you think like, man, you know what I'm saying? I like it. I like it. You know, I think the kid keep a level head, man. He going to be that guy. He going to take somebody's belt. You know, if these dudes don't hurry up and handle their business, you know, stay active, one face, one uh, one name, one one title holder, one champion. Um, he gonna he gonna beat some of them guys. These guys is pushing over the hill thirty. You know, by the time twenty twenty one come around, these dudes gonna be thirty two, thirty three, thirty four. They better move up, get titles, and cause Josh Kelly and Jaren Ennis is coming, and it's gonna be Rashidi Ellis. It's gonna be other young dark horses don't come. Regis Progress, Josh Taylor coming to the division. At some point, they gonna have to get down and lay down. And it look like they're going to lay down. They're going to uh, lay down, all right? You know, these young dudes are going to take some of these dudes' titles if they don't get, get it popping. But it's good fellow Sports TV. Congratulations to Jaren Boots Ennis uh, beating Raymond um, Serrano tonight. Second round knockout. Dropped him three times on the way to second round TKO. Good fellow Sports TV. Appreciate it. We're on Facebook and Twitter. Also got the Facebook group. Those links in the description. Want to make a donation to the channel as well. That link is there as well. And we're going to cover this hooker and say those fight as well. So, you know, let's talk about it. Let's chop it up. Let me know what you feel in the comment section, what you think about Jaren Ennis and the future of the welterweight division. Y'all know what it is. One time for one time, we gone.